Welcome. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, can you report on Salesforce notes? My name is Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce trainer with Rotiv. We're in Lightning Experience in Salesforce here, and I've just created a new note as an example. I'm going to click done, and you can see that this note will show up on an account object because that's where I created it. One thing to know about this notes object within Salesforce is that it's not a traditional table, like a table of accounts or a table of contacts. It's actually creating a file. And because the note is actually a file, our reporting options are pretty limited actually. So we can report on notes, but let me show you where the limitations are. So to even do this, go ahead and create a new report. And when you come to select a report type, there's nothing here that'll allow us to pull up a report type for notes. Instead, what we're actually looking for is a report type for files. So we've got a file and content report here. So we've created our new report from that files report type. Next thing to do is to adjust your filters and then come over to the outline. In this particular report type, it's a little bit strange that there's no default columns, so everything looks blank. But we can change that pretty quickly by adding the file name. I'll zoom in here a little bit for you. You can see under file name, my note just showed up. This is my new note, but so did some other things here. Because this is a files report, it's showing us a bunch of different files, not necessarily just notes. So come back under columns here and search for file type. Let's add that to our report. And here you can see what type of files we've got. We've got PNGs, so these are images that have been uploaded. And then we have SNote for Salesforce note. If you just want to report on notes, you don't care about those other files, you can filter on that field to simplify your report. So we'll say file type is equal to S note. Hit apply. All those images now and other sorts of files are going to be filtered out. On the left-hand side, you can open up this field drawer here and then you can see what other columns are available to us within this report type. So a couple of these things are useful, you know, like total size I think is helpful to see, you know, when was the published date, who created the note, You'll notice missing on the left-hand side here is the content of the note. There's no way for us to see, you know, the body of the note. What is the information that people actually filled out? All we're getting is the name of the note, you know, who created it, what the publish date was, those sorts of details. And that's why I generally say that reporting on notes is limited within Salesforce. And again, the reason for that is because it's actually a file. It's not just a row in a database like an account or a contact. So if you're considering using notes within Salesforce, which I highly recommend, just keep in mind when you're going to want to report on that data. If it's the kind of thing that you don't need to report on very often, then use that note feature. I think it's really useful, has a lot of benefits. And if it's the kind of thing that you're going to have to report on, there's probably more structure to it anyways, and a field might have been the right choice in that case. So yes, you can report on notes. It's just kind of limited. Hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one.